Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Mama Creations TV. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you get to know um, each time I upload new videos. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a ruffle sleeve, um, ruffle rose sleeve, and this is a requested video. So if you requested for this video, let me know down below in the comment section and do share this video with your friends and um, family. So um, the materials I need are this, and this is horse hair braid, popularly known as crinoline. So um, it's very important you put this. Um, with your rose so the tip is going to be firm and it's going to give you that flounce you want so firstly I'm going to fold my fabric into four I'm using a um, I think poly or scuba I don't know but I'm going to fold it into four you can use any fabric that is thick enough for you so I fold it into four and I'm just going to measure what I have here and also measure same thing at that part so I have 10 here and I also measured 10 at the other side and also 10 at the center so from that point I'm going to be measuring 4.5 so I want the um, wideness of this to be 4.5 remember this um, is just a small rose ruffle rose I'm not going to make that big one like what I did here so I'm going to make this really small but if you want yours to be big you can um, increase what you have here as you can see my fabric is not really enough so I just I'm just going to make a very small rose so I measured 4.5 inches and this is it so I'm going to cut out the facing I'm making use of same fabric for the facing If you're not going to make use of um like same fabric for the facing that means be sure to um, put an interface to attach an interface inside the fabric so at this point i'm going to be attaching my i'm going to be attaching my crinoline to it and um, i'm going to be pulling it a bit while attaching it so um this is what i'm going to be doing now i've attached my crinoline to it and i've ironed it so as you can see that there are no bulging um no bulges all around is very flat and smooth so make sure yours is as neat as this so now i'm going to be turning the facing i'm going to be um attaching the facing to it then i'm going to place it on the right side i'm placing it on the right side of my fabric so once I've done that, I'm going to iron it out and um, iron it very flatly. So it's not easy to iron um, this particular fabric. So you have to sprinkle some water if you're not using a steam iron. If you're using a steam iron, you still have to sprinkle some water though. So this is what I've done. And I'm cutting out the excess I have here because I don't need it anymore. So now I'm going to turn this over and um, stitch this part down and I'm also going to do that with the other parts too. So once I've done that, I'm going to open it out back and stitch this part too. So as you can see, I've done that, I've stitched it and it's time to be creative. You don't have to follow my method of... Um, creating this ruffle you can do yours and um whatever result you are getting will be fine just be creative and make sure you don't have those um these parts that is like say naked make sure you don't have it at the outer part of your rose just try to tuck it in and um hide it 
do you understand so that's just how i'm going to be doing it so guys enjoy and make sure to subscribe to my channel after watching this video hit the subscribe button right now and turn on the notification bell share this video and leave me a comment down below i'm going to post i'm going to um post the link of my previous videos down below in the description box so guys go check them out and um like this video guys all right thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate and um i'm going to see you in my next video bye guys